Hello. I am here and you are there. We're here to do another vinyl update. You know, because why not? So, here we go. Uh, starting off with uh, the outfield. Play deep. Uh, I didn't have this record and I wanted to pick it up for that reason, but it's also it also comes from WUSO. 89.1 FM, which is a radio station from the Wittenberg College here in, uh, near here in Springfield, Ohio. And um, when I used to work at Subway years ago, um, I had a couple friends that uh, went to the college there, and they had a radio show on Sunday morning, um, and I traded them some subs so I could sit into the radio show and play anything I wanted. So I remember going through the racks of records and CDs that they had. Um, CD, they had, they didn't have a lot of CDs. It was almost all vinyl at that time. Um, and just picking out anything I wanted. And I have one of them shows recorded around here somewhere on a cassette. Um, but yeah, that was, that was awesome. And um, it's a lot of those records I could have probably got at that time if I would have tried to get them. Anyway, here's another one. Um, this one's from WSO2. Uh, they wrote on it. It said, Yaz, upstairs at Eric's. Which I already have this, but I wanted it because right here it says, Replacement of Ripped Off Album. Last one, it says. So, um, they wanted to make sure they it was the property of, of them. So, yeah. This uh, even wrote on the record there. So yeah, I, I just picked those up mainly because I didn't have the one, like I said, but for those reasons. And then this is like, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's really, it's really great. I mean, look at that. That is great. I guess it's, uh, it looks like it might be Russian. And I uh, don't know a whole lot about it. Music box records. It looks very interesting, that's for sure. And then um, showed this other volume in the last video. The Guess Who, Best of Guess Who, Volume 2. And I think I bought these, this and the other one. I think I bought them at two separate places. Yeah, I did, because this came out of um, thrift store, and the other one was at um, Half Price Books, so... And then there it is. It's just, there's the... This one don't have a poster, but it does have a gatefold. I like to guess who. And then the Merck Family in Concert. Great cover. They're just hanging out. And there they are on the back. This one place had several of the this records from this group, I guess you'd call it. Um, and I just picked out the ones that I like the covers of the best. And uh, I think I also picked out some inner sleeves. A lot of them didn't have that. And this is another one, Singing Musicale. This is the Merck family. Voices of the Merck family, it says. And all the little girls have the same hairstyle. It's pretty hilarious. Um... And then uh, this one, uh, Everything You See Is Me by Rasa. Um, Kat got a copy of this from, uh, I think it was Dave and Jenny and for BCLT. And I, I, we were looking at it, it's like, wow, that looks like it'd be really interesting. And then I was out, I don't know how long after that. That's upside down. Not long after that, and I found a copy of it. At, uh, I guess, it, yeah, it was Goodwill. It's got a 99 cent sticker on it. So, and there's the insert. So yeah, now we both have one, which that's funny because that happens a lot. Whether we plan it or not, it sort of happens. And then uh, the Happy Organ, Dave Baby Cortez. I had that song on a 45 when I was a kid and still have the original one. Uh, it's on Clock Records, the one that I had. 
Now, this is an RCA Victor, uh, plus the whistling organ. And I played that that 45 to death. Does it show the back? Uh, it says property of Robert and Robert E. Gregory. So yeah. And then I got a Louis Armstrong record. I think my first one. I'm not positive, but I don't think I have any other ones of his. And for 99 cents, I mean, it's in great shape. It's got the original, if I can get it out. It's got the original record uh, label sleeve. And it's on Mercury. Um, but this has... Uh, um, the Saints Go Marching In is on here, and uh, I'm trying to read it sideways as I put it back in there. I thought, um, what's that one song that's usually so popular for? Hello Dolly. I thought that was on here, but it's not. But anyway, Louis Armstrong. And I was real surprised to see this last record I'm going to show. Uh, I'm a big fan, which you might think it's funny, or if you watch my videos, you might not think it's funny because you, you sort of expect me to be a big fan of, of whoever, you know, that other people was like, really? Um, but I didn't have any of their stuff on on vinyl. I have all the CDs. Um, and I think the reason is because I'd never seen any on vinyl. Um, so I'm flipping through the racks, you know, and uh, I see this and I'm thinking, oh my God, really? New Kids on the Block. Step by step, and it's got the cutout hole there. Uh, I used to play this to death. Uh, the um, I had the cassette first, and then I had the CD. This needs clean like really bad. But I was I was looking when I first seen it. I was like, oh, I hope the record's in there. Please hope the record's in there. And it was. But um, I like New Kids on the Block. I don't care what anyone thinks, which you know. Look, I'm wearing a, a Zane shirt, for crying out loud. Uh, but anyway, it has um, the title track, and then it has the, a second single, Tonight, which is a great song. It's just a great song. Uh, Baby, I Believe in You, which is a great song. Uh, Jordan does the lead vocal on that, and there's a clip on uh, one of the concerts they did. I don't know if it was the Disney pay-per-view concert or if it was the... Or not Disney pay-per-view, the pay-per-view or the Disney concert. There's two separate ones, where he's um, he's got his shirt open and it's blowing in the breeze and he's doing all these gyrations and stuff. It's pretty hilarious. Um, then uh, games is on here, the original version of games. They it showed up on a remix album later. Um, but yeah, every song on here is good, I think. So that's my last. Uh, last piece of vinyl I'll be showing in this one. So, um, please subscribe if you haven't. If you're interested at all, please subscribe. And thanks for watching uh, and participating in this little uh, stack of goofiness. Uh, hope everyone out there is doing a wonderful uh, doing a wonderful is having a wonderful day. And we will. We'll see you later, people.